We are now one step closer to anti-gravity drives. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net, and we have to take a look at this. Anti-gravity, it's been a dream of scientists forever. It has been a dream of sci-fi fans forever. You want that hoverboard? Anti-gravity is going to make it happen. You want to fly through the solar system? The aliens are probably using anti-gravity drives. I mean, really, could it be anti-gravity? But today's story is on a very real topic with very real results that are detailed in a paper published in Nature Physics. The name of the paper is Anomalous Dispersion of Microcavity Trion Polaritons. I know, you can't get over the excitement in that title. Well, the subject matter is what matters. This paper details the findings of Nick Vamavakis. I think I'm saying it right. And he's an associate professor of quantum physics and quantum optics at the Rochester Institute of Optics. They created a device that uses two mirrors to create what's known as an optical microcavity. And depending on the placement of these mirrors, they can trap different wavelengths of light or different colors of the spectrum. In this microcavity, they placed the semiconductor molybdenum disalinide and hit it with the light they beamed into the chamber. What this did was cause that semiconductor to give up small particles called excitons and combine them with the photons from the light to form polaritons. And the best way to explain this is in Vamavakis' own words. By causing an exciton to give up some of its identity to a photon and create a polariton, we ended up with an object that has a negative mass associated with it. This is kind of mind-bending thing to think about. Because if you try to push or pull it, it will go in the opposite direction from what your intuition would tell you. That's right, when a force acts upon these negative mass particles, they do the opposite of what you want them to do. If you push, they push. If you pull, they pull. And that applies to any force you put upon them. Gravity is a force. So as they're pulled towards the ground, they are going to move away. And that, my friends, is anti-gravity. Now, Vamavakis does say that applications are still down the road. I mean, they're only producing this at a particle of time. But now that the technology has been confirmed and it is doable, it's only a matter of time until we scale this up and finally get those hoverboards we've all been waiting for. And now I'd like to ask you this. What could you imagine being done with a material made of these negative mass particles? What would you do with something that would resist forces placed upon it? Let me know in the comments down below. And remember, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you know when I put out something new. Generally, my videos come out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope to see you here again. And until next time, have fun and uh, be safe.